Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today we're going to make the Huckins style mac and cheese. Um, comfort food kind of seemed like the order of the day. Um, we make mac and cheese uh, every change day at camp and sadly uh, we won't be doing that this year. So um, I thought that we would make it. Um, we choose mac and cheese for that first, uh, first meal of the session. Um, just as a comforting thing, you know, the excitement of the day and new things and new changes. And so um, we always put it there to just kind of be a, a comfort for all the campers. Um, so pretty easy. First thing we're going to do is we have one cup of whole milk. Put that in a pot. Then we have three cups of heavy cream. This is very rich mac and cheese. those are in a pot we're just going to turn this pot on we want to bring this up to a boil and then bring it back down to a simmer um, the heavy cream and the milk together on a high heat can be very volatile so you need to make sure that you watch it as it's getting ready to come up to a boil lots of times it'll want to boil over so you always have a whisk ready um, and you're just gonna make sure that you're keeping an eye on it um, so what we're what we're looking to do is to bring it up to a boil, bring it back down to a simmer, and then we want to reduce it by, I guess, about a third, um, and that's gonna thicken it up. And then we're gonna add cheese and things to that. While our sauce is reducing, we're also gonna cook the pasta. Um, I find that it's perfect if the pasta can already be hot when we toss this together. Um, this is a mac and cheese that we're um, not gonna bake or anything, so it gets served as soon as it's ready. Um, so I have a pot of water ready to go, um, lots of salt in the water. Um, it's really important that you really salt your pasta water. Uh, if you don't, you're going to really affect the flavor of your sauce once you add it to that. It can get really bland if you just put unsalted pasta in your sauce. So make sure that your water is nice and salty. Uh, so right now we're just going to wait for this to get up to a boil and we're going to wait for it to reduce and we'll be back once it gets a little closer. All right, so it's been about a half an hour or so. Um, our heavy cream and milk has been reducing, and I think it's right at the right texture. Viscosity, we're gonna add two things. We're gonna add a half cup of Parmesan cheese grated, and then we're gonna add four tablespoons of cream cheese. So at this point we can Turn that down or off. So I'm gonna put that in there. And you can either use a whisk um, to whisk that all together, or I've got one of these guys, so this makes the work pretty easy. So we're just doing that till it's all, all the cheeses are melted and put together. And it's all nice and smooth. So at this point, we're going to add the sauce to the pasta, and we're going to add some other things. And this is a point where you can kind of choose where you want to go. We're going to make this just like we make it for change day at Huckins. Um, but there's a lot of things that you could do with this. Uh, from this sauce, you could add uh, some garlic and some broccoli and some chicken. It'd almost be like an Alfredo. Um, anything you've got, you can add to this um, to make it a little bit different. We're using some pretty kid-friendly cheeses here. We've got cheddar cheese. We're going to add one cup. 
We've got some American cheese, six slices that we're gonna use. Um, we use the American cheese because we're not using a, a roux, so we're not using any flour or anything to thicken this up. Um, this way it can be pretty versatile. You can use it with gluten-free pasta. Um, and the American cheese just has a, enough process to it that it helps everything kind of bind together. Um, kind of takes the place of the flour-based roux. So, and then we also, with this, we're just gonna add two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. So, this is where you can kind of start to have fun with it, with anything you've got in your fridge that you wanna to add to it to make it a different, different thing, different flavor. So, cooked pasta, sauce. You maybe don't wanna start with all the sauce, you wanna see. How saucy you like it. Cheddar. We're gonna add the American cheese. And it's really hot in here today, so this is all sticking. Just like summer in the dining hall. All right. So. And then my pasta was not really hot when I threw it in here. So I'm just gonna put this pot back on the burner, turn it on in just a little bit. And we're gonna let that all get together and get melty and good and so i think i am going to add the rest of my sauce if you're going to eat this right away you maybe don't need quite as much sauce if you think you're going to let it sit for a little while make sure it's pretty saucy before you walk away as it the pasta really kind of drinks up the sauce um, so we're just going to let that get hot. We're going to add some salt. Not too much because my pasta was already salty. Some fresh black pepper. And then really, that's about it. Once that gets hot and melty, it's ready to eat. Um, the last couple of years, we've been adding some crushed up potato chips to the top of the bowls. Um, that's always good. I really like that texture, a little crunch. And um, But you can try anything. You can add bacon, you could add, like I said, broccoli or any vegetables you've got. Caramelized onions, um, anything you can imagine. Um, but this is how we make mac and cheese at Huckins.